Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your May 2018 reading. I've pulled two oracle cards for you this month. The first is Risk from the House of Night oracle deck. This card speaks to that moment just before you're ready to take that leap of faith in a new direction in life. And from the oracle deck of the angels, you've pulled Entrepreneur. Now this card tells me that you would be someone well suited to working on your own or working for yourself, perhaps starting a new business. So those are two wonderful cards for entrepreneurs out there, Gemini. And as a Gemini, that, that kind of work is, is so well suited for you. Let's get along with your reading. Now in the center, this is your overall theme for the month. You've pulled the Seven of Pentacles, Gemini. Now this is my, I, I associate this card with the feeling that everyone's making it big but me. You're looking around and you're wondering where's your rewards. You're, you're looking, perhaps seeing others being rewarded and you haven't quite there's a level of disappointment there with what you've received in exchange for the effort that you've put in. So I'm sensing disappointment in the, in the workplace here. Let's see what else I can pull out for you, Gemini. You've got the chariot in reverse and the king of swords. Now, the king of swords is you, Gemini. It's an air sign, male. Though this, this could easily, because it's a general reading, relate to a air sign female. This is someone who is analytical, is a logical, is, is a logical person, is someone who thinks things through, very intellectual and a very good communicator. And how I think you're feeling right now with the chariot in reverse and the seven of pentacles, this disappointment at work, is that you feel like there's two directions that you're weighing up right now and you're not sure which direction to take. So let's see what else we have here, uh, Gemini. In the past, you've pulled the knight of swords. So you've this again is an air sign. So you've taken You've taken action in the past and you've gone in with a lot of with a lot of ambition. This is generally how you would attack life. Let's see what else we can pull up with that. What what kind of action have you taken here, Gemini, in the past? You've pulled the four of wands in reverse. Now this indicates that whatever action you've taken here has led to some level of fulfillment and happiness. If it was in the upright, it would say you've achieved completely fulfillment, happiness, success. But because this is in the reversed position, it means that you have attained a level of success and happiness and harmony in the home but you have not achieved it totally yet. At least that's how you feel in the past. Now in the current position, you've pulled the Seven of Cups, which could mean you have several options that you're weighing right now. It could also mean wishful thinking. So I want to get a clarify on that one for you, Gemini. Now you've pulled Justice in reverse, it could be that you felt that there's been unfairness or imbalance in the workplace. It seems like you're weighing up some other options. Um, you may not be making a decision right now with justice in reverse because perhaps you're wondering if 
the option that you're thinking about is, is real or just wishful thinking. So there seems to be some question here currently about, about again, about which direction to take. We have the chariot in reverse. You're weighing up your options. Yeah, that's what I'm getting off that right now. So in the future, we have the eight of pentacles in reverse. Now again, this speaks to not being full, not feeling like you're fulfilled in the workplace. It could relate to boredom. You could feel that you're in the wrong job or career. It could could be that you're not seeing, you're not feeling like you want to keep working in the job that you, that you have. So let's see what else I can pull up there. Clarify on the Eight of Pentacles for Gemini, please. You've pulled the Ace of Swords, so it seems like in the future you will achieve some sort of clarity or there will be some kind of aha moment about this. This It seems to be, this, this reading so far seems to be about some kind of job dissat dissatisfaction but I see you in the future coming in with a clear mind about what you want to do in relation to feeling like you don't really want to put the effort into whatever job you're doing here. So let's see what your best path to follow is, Gemini. You've got the King of Cups. This speaks to an emotionally fulfilled person. Let's see what else I can pull up on the King of Cups. You've got the Eight of Cups in reverse. Now, this I'm getting the feeling from these cards that you want to take a more creative approach. It could be that the job that you have now is not as, doesn't let you be as creative as you'd like to be. And this card of Eight of Cups is telling me that now may not be the time to walk away from something. So as your best path to follow, see if it was in the upright, it would be telling me, yes, you should move away from whatever is not making you happy, but it is in the reverse. So as advice, it seems to be saying that perhaps it's not the right time yet to walk away from whatever is not fulfilling you and it could be because of the king of cups that you may as advice it could be telling you that you might be better off trying to put more creativity into the job that you currently have or the profession that you currently have and it might be saying that that uh, perhaps that's all that's required. So let's see what is in your environment, Gem Gemini. We've got the Nine of Cups. Now that's absolute wish fulfillment, happiness. Now this is in your environment, so that's fantastic. Let's see what else I can pull up on the Nine of Cups for you. We've got Queen of Pentacles. And we've got the tower in reverse. Now, in your environment, this is how others are viewing you or outside influences that are affecting you. And it seems like people see you as achieving a level of success 
as, as being a happy person, which is fantastic. They also see you being very caring, very nurturing, giving, a very generous person, someone who has a level of financial stability already. And they also, with this tower in reverse, that speaks to fear of change. It could be avoiding avoiding change, avoiding any kind of action that could upset the balance that you've already achieved. So it seems to me like Others are viewing you as someone who is happy, has achieved some level of financial success and perhaps is not wanting to upset this success with any kind of change or disruption in their life, is how I'm seeing that. Now your hopes and fears, Gemini. The sun in reverse. So again, you're afraid that something is going to disrupt your happiness. And you've got the Ten of Swords, yeah. Yep. With these two cards, it speaks to being afraid that you, you perhaps you you have a feeling of Physically, I think you may feel a bit burnt out. Perhaps by the job that you currently have. It could be that. It, it could be just that you, you're fearing that you won't be able to get over this feeling of being burned out. There seems, seems to be some kind of physical and mental... pain or tiredness that, I, that I'm feeling out of these cards. Now with your outcome card you have the ten of wands which speaks to being overburdened, overworked, stressed. Let's see what else I can pull out there Gemini. Got the queen of cups in reverse, you've got the ten of cups and you've got the Hermit in reverse. So the Queen of Cups is someone who is emotionally unfulfilled. So it could be that you're just feeling very emotionally unfulfilled in the job. Um, your career is just kind of burning you out. You're feeling stressed, overworked, burdened. What you really want to achieve is this Ten of Cups, which is absolute, you, you, you kind of want, well, it's almost like you want to, I feel like you may want to even retire. You may be nearing that stage, or you, this is what you're wanting. You're wanting to spend more time at home, uh, more time with your family. Um, that's how I feel with this card. I feel like you, you want to spend more time with your family and you also have the hermit in reverse which I'm feeling is more you've been in your head a lot about about your life about your dis, about these decisions about this risk that you're thinking about perhaps you've tended towards perhaps a little over analysis and it might be time now to take some action instead of just thinking about it. That's how I feel with those cards. So overall, Gemini, it, it appears that you're wanting to... Well, you're thinking about taking some kind of risk and it could relate to some kind of self-employment. You're feeling like the work that you've put in, you've not received the rewards that 
you are due and you're being pulled in two different directions. In the past you have achieved some level of success but it's not quite enough. You're feeling like there's, in, there's been some injustice, some imbalance in the workplace and you're now looking at options. In the future you're coming to some sort of conclusion about being dissatisfied with the work that you you that you that uh, you're currently employed in your best path to follow is saying that perhaps now isn't the right time to walk away and it could be that you just need to put in more creative kind of outlets in the work that you're currently doing because it seems like you want to do something that's more creative. How others are viewing you, they're viewing you as achieving happiness and success and stability but there could be a fear of change, a fear of destruction of this kind of happiness and stability. Your fears you're fearing being burned out and your outcome is you're feeling overburdened emotionally unfulfilled at work you want to spend more time with your family and you you're feeling like you need to it's time for some action but your best path to follow is telling you that perhaps now you might want to try first seeing if you can put some creative outlets into the work that you already are performing. So overall Gemini with your oracle cards now might be a good time to ask whether or not the thing that you're thinking about is worth the risk and if it is the hermit in reverse is saying well maybe action is required or if you feel it's not worth the risk and that's completely up to you Gemini. So that's your reading Gemini if you have any questions or you would like a personal reading please stay tuned and I will let you know how to contact me. Thanks very much Gemini enjoy May and I'll see you next month. Hello everyone it's Michelle from Gypsy Insights I'm so excited to launch this new channel. I'm an intuitive reader. I receive the energies from the cards as I read them. I'm here to provide guidance through tarot and I hope that you enjoy the readings. My general readings can be quite specific and won't resonate with everyone. Please check your sun, moon and rising signs to see which one resonates the most with you. And remember, the energies can resonate with you or go vice versa. These general readings are provided free of charge, so if you are enjoying my readings, please feel free to donate using PayPal and my email address, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. I look forward to reading for you personally. Please email me at gypsyinsights at gmail.com if you would like a personal reading. I'm offering low introductory rates. If you would like an answer to one question, I offer a 15 minute video. I also offer a 30 minute video if you have two to three questions and an in-depth video of 45 to 60 minutes. These videos are delivered to you via YouTube for you personally. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll be adding additional content on a regular basis. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you again very soon.